She's been living on the outskirts of herself for two years. Dazed and confused, it took two tissues to dry her tears. Two beers concealed her fears. Actually gave her a disguise, which was kind of cool, cause every time she looked in her eyes, able to see herself, clearly a part of her would die. Saying to herself, it's cool, but we all know it's a lie. Deep down inside, she's depressed. Constantly reminded of her past every time she gets undressed. She remembers the long nights she would hold his head upon her chest. While he whispered passionately, Baby, you're the best. And I don't ever want us to be apart. They lived in Brownsville from the start. Went to the same schools and she gave him her heart. And shortly after he did the same, taught her the mathematics and the breakdown of her righteous name. What a God can do to change. A queen with the spiritual claims that the divine exists in our first style window panes. We're like two flames inside one white candle glare burning vibrantly in the spiritual warfare for gods to destroy and demons to hate. Funny, but she knows you're near when the heart of her shell jumps at the a.m. of the next day. When the sun sleeps the earth into a universal storm, she realizes the norm ain't what it used to be. She hears your footprints on the wooden floor and can feel your energy surrounding her shoulders with the heat of three billion soldiers on the warpath for peace. See, you bring her to tears when she realizes you're the one writing this piece. And nothing anyone could do would separate our mental speaks and tongues only the spiritual can eat. And she wonders why it took death to join First Eye Unions. You see, like my brother said, Alpha and Omega be operating yin and yang spiritual consciousness. She writes now without thought, and her hand touches her face in similar king ways, but nothing's changed. She levitates without leaving the body and can feel his lips on the back of her neck like sun rays. Exhales now come from the soul instead of her lungs. See, this is love. Who said love can't exist on two planes? This is love, the deaf and the living.